गौरव पांडे और गौरव भैया आई नो या एवरीबडी इज नाउ लुकिंग फॉर द टी सी एस कोर्ट बेटा दैट यू आर वॉन्ट रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन प्रिपेयर यू वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आस्क हाउ यू कैन बी बेटर इन ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स सो द सिंपल आंसर इज दैट यू आर यू हैव टू सॉल्व द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स वाई विच यू कैन गेट एन आइडिया वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आस्क सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव यू all the resources which are necessary for you to prepare for this tcs code beta and do let me know in the comment if you need something else perfect so we'll begin with the lecture but before i begin tell me how's the energy is it high so i heard that somewhere it's a high perfect so now we'll move ahead and here we have a problem statement which says it's a problem statement or the question it depends on you how you take it so now here this is a problem statement which is encryption and here it was mentioned like in, in some way it asked in the tcs this code beta okay and they ask like to encrypt something so we'll read the story we will understand the problem statement we'll break it down and then we'll solve it okay and that's where you will understand how you can solve any question which comes in the tcs code beta perfect so now here the problem statement john is working in high security organization so john is somebody who is working in an organization perfect where he needs to deal with lot of confidential document and you know he is working in a like organization for the security so he have to deal with right with the confidential documents he must encrypt the important number in the documents so he must need to encrypt the numbers in the document okay perfect so now you please help john to write the program where the systems would identify the integer number system will identify what integer number and encrypt the number based on the john section so whatever action john is doing based on that number will be encrypted for example if john presses a right arrow the character should move next if john presses left arrow the correct it will read as l and you know you should come back to the previous character and now for the app it will be t t basically for the just you know incrementing the value by 1 okay again down arrow decrement the value by 1 again swap if you are getting this as n means as with some number for example 2 so in this case you have to swap a number you have to swap a number with the current position and this nth position this position that's what you have to do so you understood based on the actions which john is doing you have to do something with your number correct so now here the constraint is that n will be always greater than 0 and will be less than the length of the string which is l here perfect here so now how will you take the input so basically they are telling you will take the input this first line contains a string comprising of numbers So what they are saying that first line we taking as an input that is number but it's took as an uh, as an uh, you know a string so this is an a string basically but now it looks like a number but it will be a string now here this is referred to as input string in the rest of the document and this will be referred as a string input in the rest of the document perfect second line contains an action denoted by the values mentioned in the uh table above this is referred as a action action string means whatever the john action is doing that will be referred as a action string which is this so now here if we have this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here we are having the action string which is r l t d r r again we are having t r s 2 s 1 so now here basically look at this if something r has been pressed move next we come to 2 this explanation right now again if something is l come back again you are here again if something is t then increase the value this one becomes 2 again something is d decrease the value this become again 1 again if something is r move next means we are again to we are we are to the 2 correct again the next means move to the next which is 3 again the t increase the value this becomes 4 correct increase the value this becomes 4 so now here 1 to 4 correct now here what was the thing is again we are having this uh where we were here okay to r were past t were there so r means next so now after this move next and uh, who was in next which was 4 again right this was the 4 5 6 so next is the 4 so we are here perfect now after that you are having s2 means you have to swap with the second position second position is just 2 swap this thing you will have this 1 4 4 2 the rest of the number 5 6 5 6 again as one swap your one with the current position and current position is this so swap this thing with this so this becomes 2 4 4 here 1 5 6 which is your output which is this thing sorry this thing okay this is your output right 
this is your output so that's what you have to do simple logic the simple switch case right whatever it's coming just do the action on that basis based on the choices or you put if else whatever the suitable things you find out here i have a simple code or we can say a solution in the java but you have the understanding what is the problem statement and how you can get the solution out of it correct so now here what i'm doing i'm putting a scanner class here and here i'm creating an object of the scanner class to take the input from the user and now here i'm taking my input as a string input then actions as a string input perfect once i have this once i have this what i'm converting is i'm converting my input to an array of characters why because that's what we have to manipulate anyhow in between right so now here i'm having a pointer which starts from the starting point okay now here the thing is here we have the iterator that will go till the length of the string and now here what we are doing we are taking the characters one by one we are taking characters one by one if the character is r we'll move our pointer the initial pointer right we'll move our pointer so the pointer moves to now the pointer moves to one place ahead right and but remember the pointer should be the pointer should be okay the less than the length minus one why because you cannot go beyond the string that's what also they have mentioned in the program itself okay so now here if this is a case then do this otherwise if the particular character was l then come back but again this should not be less than zero so somewhere i'll tell you it was written okay it was written here in the rules if you read the rules now initial position as is at the first character which we did as a pointer when incrementing the value of a number at a current location if the number is 9 then it remain, remains 9 okay again otherwise you will increase by 1 if again decrementing if the number is 0 it will remain as 0 it will remain as 0 otherwise you will decrease by 1 okay also also once all uh, all the actions from the action string are consumed if any part of the input string remained unprocessed then leave those characters of the input string as they are so that's what we are doing that's what we are, we are putting a condition here you understand that's why we are putting condition right here that we cannot go beyond the length the first thing second thing we cannot reduce it less than zero okay now the third thing if t is coming remember that should be less than nine only then you can increase otherwise you cannot increase so on that particular place increase it okay that pointer increase it so now we are increasing a number so here we have this number character array on that particular index i'm increasing the value by 1 okay so now here otherwise in this case of d we are decreasing the value on that same place and again case of s so s means swap but the problem is that in our string after this s we will have something so i need a pointer which will give me that particular index value so that's why i'm having this i here i'm having this i here i'll increase my i by one place this thing my one place because any of we move moving twice now right so now here now here if i have this as the same place i'm repeating again here so if i have the yes i'll increase my pointer again and i'll get the value like the index where i need to swap it so now here and again remember i should be less than the length of the string array okay that is string thing actions thing so now here if this is true i is smaller then we can swap the values so swap the index swap index we are getting swap index we are getting from that particular place right in the integer format so whenever you want to convert a character into a string you can just directly subtract a zero within a character so zero as a character you subtract you will get the number so now we are having that number we are having that index and now here the swap index what we are doing we are reducing by one because my string actually start from the zero index now here we are swapping them here we are swapping them remember my swap index will not be less than 0 and it should be a uh, not should be greater than the length so it should be less than the length and greater than the 0 perfect so now here we are swapping it by taking a temporary variable and we have swapped the values exactly here all right and at the end everything is done we are breaking it all right and at the end we'll print our output as a string we are printing our output as a string so getting my point basically what has given there the simple thing is that we will have a number as a string we will have a you know action string what you have to do based on that action string you need to manipulate your number you need to change your number right so here you can do with the hello switch case you can do with the hello if else if a statement it's up to you your choice but the simple thing why it sounds simple now because you have understood this problem if you're not understanding the problem you're not reading it properly you cannot solve it simple okay perfect so i hope you really enjoyed this entire video or this entire problem but now here if you want to solve more questions like this what resources you can refer so there's a one thing you go there search for uh, tcs code beta 
prep and stun. Okay, so now here what you will get is you will get the previous or coding question for free. So now here go to this prep and first thing and here go here and you will find what all the course questions has been appeared in the previous year. Get and have an understanding out of it. Have the understanding out of it. You getting my point? Have the proper understanding. Once you understand this, you're good to go. Here. Now you know that what are the topics you need to learn, right? From these all previous year patterns. A very sure. But however, the course is not limited to these problems. You have to learn the DSA. So for that purpose, you can refer 150 not out problems prep and stuff for boosting up your problem solving skills, for solving DSA and everything, this thing. But the best advice I'll give you, observe the previous year questions, okay, figure out the topics which has been appeared maximum times and have a most important, or we can say, heavily practice on them, right? After that, you can choose the other topics. And for learning the DSA in very detail, refer the Prep Insta Prime DSA course, okay? So here it's a bunch of subscription, Prep Insta Prime, Prep, Insta Prime DSA. So now here go and search for the DSA course. And here basically Prep Insta Prime is a one platform where you get a subscription like Netflix and you have the access of all 200 plus courses. So along with this DSA, you can prepare any kind of a skill, whatever you want. That can be AI or something, right? But your choice, whatever you want to learn. But for DSA, I'll suggest this. So go here, have a learning, search your course for DSA, learn all these topics. Okay. Perfect here. I hope you really enjoyed this entire video. Thank you for watching this and wishing you all the best for your TCS Code Vita. Bye-bye to all. See you in the next upcoming videos or lectures.